could yeah, probably help with that. All right, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> appreciate it. All right, our next operation is going to another Tom Clancy fan favorite, Rainbow Six Siege. And joining us to talk about the Operation Phantom Site is brand director of Rainbow Six Siege, Alex Andre Remy. Alex, uh, great to see you, man. How's everything? Right, Jeff. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. I mean, I got to say, Rainbow Six Siege, I remember hosting the launch event for that. It was like, I don't know, probably three or four years ago. And the life of this game, it's everyone in the industry talks about how this game came out and it did fine, but it's like you guys have just continued to build the community and the excitement. I know you got a big tournament happening here this week at E3 um, and so much new content coming out for it constantly, which I think is just phenomenal. Um, so tell us about what's new for Rainbow Six this year at E3. Uh, it's pretty new that we're launching next week Operation yeah. Phantom Sight, yeah. which is actually the update number 13 of the game. Wow. So uh, every quarter we're releasing new content and yeah. operation that composed of uh, two operators or two playable characters, yeah. usually a map and a bunch of features. And that's the 13th time now that we're doing it. Wow. No, it's, uh, it's so cool that you guys continue to do things. So um, now I know the second season of year four includes two new operators for players to choose from. Tell us about those operators. Yeah, indeed. We have uh, with Phantom Side, we introduced Nock and Warden. So two new characters. Uh, Nock is an attacker. Uh, she is uh, equipped with a silent step. She sort of is right. the infiltrator of the gang. Uh, it's very uh, potent and powerful because she also is completely invisible to cameras uh, of the defense. Yes. So that's a pretty, uh, a pretty interesting tool to get when you're attacking. And Warden on the opposite is more of an anchor, right? A yeah. character that slows down the attacks when they're trying to get on the objective. So uh, he, he comes with a, a, a watch, a special watch that allows him to three, see through, through smokes. Oh, and, they're just special uh, yeah, watch. That, that's right him, yeah, yeah. On cue. Like our Tom go. Selleck meets James Bond character. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I love it. Again, it's like the character in fiction that you're kind of bringing into this, you know, multiplayer universe that everyone has so much fun with. And also new features, uh, reverse friendly fire. Let's indeed, indeed. But I mean, let's talk a bit about toxicity if you want, because yeah. that's exactly where it comes in. Uh, really? Okay. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I mean, every big online game has, with the big community, problems of toxicity, of whether it's exploit, cheating, yeah. etc. And uh, in Rainbow Six, being a shooter, the problem is we have friendly fire, meaning yeah. if we are in the same team, you and I, you yeah. can actually shoot me and I'll get damage, right? So yeah. that can lead to, obviously, uh, some behaviors that we rather avoid. Yeah. So that's why we introduced in the last update a reverse friendly fire, huh. meaning if you do shoot at someone after yeah. a set certain threshold, damage is going to actually get reverted to you. So you take the damage, you do not kill any more your teammates, and the game can go on like this. So that's interesting. That, is that going to be something you're just going to introduce into the entire game moving forward? Yeah, we did wow. a, what we call test servers, yeah. which is before this feature, or actually any feature in the game, gets into the live, so for any player right. to access to it, yeah. we actually do test servers, which uh -huh. is with a small number of people trying new features, trying new operators or a map, and see if everything goes well, if that needs a little bit of tweak or balancing, which is yeah. what we did for, uh, uh, for Reverse 25. Wow. All right. So that's, uh, that's going live with this update? Absolutely. OK. Now, as you guys think of this game moving forward, I'd love to just even get your thoughts, because you guys are kind of leaders, I think, in this, in terms of building the community and new content. What do you see as what's working for the game? I mean, is it this constant cadence of sort of, you know, new updates and new characters? We, about a, a year, year and a half ago, we talked about the road to 100 operators. Wow. The game currently have a 46. <laughs> so, so you got a long way to go. Not now. even yet halfway <laughs> through it. And, and the idea is like, think of Rainbow Six Siege as an FPS meets chess. Yeah. And every new piece Every new operator is a new piece of chess that we bring to the chessboard, right? Yeah. So that brings new gameplay, uh, new, new possibilities and, and combination, right? Which is all what gaming is all about, right? Yeah. Giving more choices to each and every one of the players to express themselves in the game. So that's what we're planning on doing. So 50 more operators, uh, uh, obviously. E3, exactly. 2035, you'll we'll be like, be we're there, number 97. Then, we're almost there. Gray, but <laughs> it's going to be fun. and. and for us, it's always been extremely important not to segregate community, which yeah. is the issue that you have if you do have, for instance, maps oh, yeah. that are on map packs that you sell on DLC yeah. or even doing a sequel for that matter. So keeping the community as a whole, yeah. making sure that every player can actually play as long as possible that game is clearly the ambition there. Awesome. Well, it looks cool that I, I love, again, what you guys have done with this game, how you continue to build the community. I know this week we'll hear more. I know the Ubisoft press conference is tomorrow, so there will be more Rainbow Six news tomorrow? Absolutely, of course. Okay. Yeah, of course. It's like reveal a, everything. every event, there's <laughs> always got to be something new. Well, congratulations on what you guys have done um, with sort of pioneering a new model for this game. Um, it's really cool. So awesome. Uh, it's great to see much. you. Good luck with the press conference tomorrow.